I'm Jane Fumick, Director of the Cleveland Department of Aging, and I'm delighted to introduce this exercise video. The Cleveland Department of Aging partnered with Cleveland State University students in the Physical Therapy and Occupational Therapy programs. This series was especially created for our older TV20 viewers. Regular exercise and physical activity are important to the physical and mental health of almost everyone, including older adults. Being physically active can help you continue to do the things you enjoy and stay independent as you age. Regular physical activity over long periods of time can produce long-term health benefits. In addition, regular exercise and physical activity can reduce the risk of developing some diseases and disabilities that develop as people grow older. In some cases, exercise is an effective treatment for many chronic conditions. Studies show that people with arthritis, heart disease, or diabetes benefit from regular exercise. Exercise also helps people with high blood pressure, balance problems, and those who have difficulty walking. One of the great things about physical activity is that there are many ways to be active. You can be active in short spurts throughout the day, or you can set aside a specific time of the day on specific days of the week to exercise. Many physical activities, such as walking, raking leaves, or taking the stairs whenever you can, are free or low cost and don't require any special equipment. If you are interested in learning more about resources in Cleveland for older adults, call us at the Cleveland Department of Aging. We are here to help. Call us at 664-2833, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hello, my name is Julian Rogers, and I'm Director of Community Partnerships with Cleveland State University. We are absolutely thrilled to partner with the Cleveland Department of Aging and TV20 on this exercise video series that we know that our older adults will find beneficial. At Cleveland State University, we practice engaged learning. Our faculty and students are committed to lending their talents to improving Northeast Ohio, and we appreciate the learning from residents and institutions here in the city of Cleveland. Hey everyone, this is Thrive Where You Are, a three-part video series designed to empower people to thrive in whatever environment they are through confidence in their movement, strength, and balance. We will do this through a combination of exercises, education, and tools that you can use at home. This video may serve as a bridge to help you get moving again and can be performed with friends and family. Always make sure you consult your healthcare practitioner before beginning any exercise program. This video is not meant to diagnose any specific condition, nor is it meant to take the place of your healthcare practitioner. If you experience any pain, shortness of breath, or difficulty breathing during any of these exercises, please pause and consult your healthcare practitioner. This first video will cover activities to access the bathroom easier and safer. The second video We'll focus on preparing meals and working around the kitchen. The third video will be covering dressing safely and modification to allow for increased independence. We hope you enjoy this series of three videos and enjoy exercising along with us. We're going to do a general warm-up before our, the rest of the video. To start off, we're, you're going to be in a seated position and you're going to want to scoot a little bit further forward because it will make these positions and movements easier to do. Our first exercise we're going to do is leaning forward to try and touch the ground. So we're going to demonstrate each of these twice, but at home try and do these eight to ten times or as you can tolerate. So for our first one, we're going to reach down and try and touch the ground. Good. And then come back up. While you do this, you should feel a nice stretch down your back. Good. Come back up. For our next one, we're going to do twists. So we're going to try and turn to the right and grab onto the chair. Take a nice deep breath in. And then let that out and come back to the middle. Now we're going to rotate to the left. Come back in. Come back. And then back to the right. Back again to the middle. And doing this, you should feel a nice stretch through the sides of your trunk and your back. 
Our next one, we're gonna try and touch the ground on the, on the right side, feeling a nice stretch through the side of your trunk. Good, come back up to the middle. Go down to the left. Good. Back again to the right. And then back to the left. Again, do this as you're comfortable, and if you're feeling pain, that's a good sign to slow it down a little bit. Our next exercise is gonna be pulling our right knee up towards our chest. Again, pull up as far as you can tolerate. You can do it with the left leg, and you're gonna hold this at the top for about a one count. Do it with the right leg. Good. Do it with the left leg. And make sure you're breathing throughout this. The next exercise, we're gonna kick our right leg straight for about a one count, bring it back down, and then we're gonna go back up again. So doing this at home, you're gonna to wanna to do the right side and then do the left side. And then two with the left. Good, one more. After this, we're gonna do the sun pose, which is involves reaching up towards the sky and then coming down again, like we started off with touching the ground. And this is just kind of putting everything together. And do it one more time, reaching up towards the sky, coming down towards the ground. You should be feeling warm and ready to exercise now, but if you're feeling dizzy or like you might be losing your balance, please stop what you're doing. For this exercise progression, we're gonna be practicing on the work on your ability to get from a seated position to standing up. An important part of being able to stand is your ability to activate your hips. So for the first exercise in this progression, we're gonna do an exercise called butt squeezes. The easiest way to think about this is taking your hands and putting them on the sides of your hips and thinking about trying to squeeze your butt. You're gonna to wanna to hold that for a one count and then relax. You're gonna do this for a total of eight to 10 repetitions. Once you feel comfortable with activating your, activating your butt muscles, you can move to the next step, which we are gonna do sit, sitting here. The chair I'm sitting in has no arms, armrests, but Judith's chair does. This is something important to think about when you're trying to stand from a sit, sitting position because it make, can make it easier if you have armrests. For the next exercise, we're gonna do a partial sit to stand. So when we do that, you're gonna to wanna to scoot forward in your chair, put your hands on the sides of the chair, and then think about moving your weight forward and standing up partially. For this part, all we're working on is moving your weight forward and getting comfortable standing up at the bottom. This is a good exercise that if you have a family, family member or friend, to have them come in and spot you for safety. Once you feel comfortable doing this for eight to 10 repetitions, we're gonna to move to the next step in the progression, which is to stand all the way up. So for this one, you're gonna again, put your hands here, lean forward, and then stand all the way up. Again, a good to have a spotter for this. Then you're gonna sit back down, reaching back with your hands, maybe on the chair. And you're gonna do this for eight to 10 repetitions. For this next portion of the video, we would like you to sit back and relax. I would like to show you a few pieces of adaptive equipment that will help you to get dressed in the morning. You can find these at your local drugstore and they can be found very inexpensive. Um, if you would like some help finding them, please ask your pharmacist or your physician for help. The first thing I'm going to show you is a reacher. It can be used for picking up things off the floor or things that are out of reach. Would you like to try that out, Phil? Sure. They come in all different forms and can be found for as little as $5. There are also aids available to help you with socks. All you would do is slip this on and then slide your foot through the stirrup and slide on. The next thing I'd like to show you is a button hook for those of you that would like to wear button up shirts but don't have the hand skills to do it anymore. Phil would like to demonstrate this to you. He's just going to slide it through the hole, hook the button, And then he just uses the handle to pull it through the slot. Now I'm here with Annie and we're here to show you some shoulder exercises. To start, we're going to start rolling our shoulders back. Yep, just like that Annie. We'll do it eight times. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to do the same thing but rolling our sh shoulders forward. Good Annie. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How'd that feel? Pretty good? Good. 
Now we're gonna do some shoulder exercises that we work on picking things like picking an apple from the tree. Go ahead and try that, Annie. Ready? Go up. Good. Good. So we can do it that way and we can also reach across our body. So Annie, can you take your left hand and go up this way? Perfect, and back down. This way, good. And we would do this eight times as well. Let's try two more. One, two. Very good. Now Annie's gonna go ahead and take a seat. And we're now going to work on lifting both of our arms straight up and back down. Good. With these exercises, you want to make sure that you move slow and controlled. You don't want your arms just to fall down when you're doing them. Again, we would do this eight times. I think that's six, seven, eight. Good job, Annie. Now we're gonna go and we're gonna go out to the side and back down. Again, with this motion, you wanna be slow and controlled and you're gonna do them eight times. Is that four, Annie? Five, good. Six, seven, one more. You can do it, eight. Very good. All right, so the next exercise that Phil and I are gonna show you is some leg stretches for increased leg mobility. So the first one, Phil, I want you to scoot to the edge of your chair just a little bit. Right leg out, keep that knee straight, and then I want you to just bend down, try and touch your toes. Now only go as far as you can. If you start feeling too much of a stretch, back off a little bit. Perfect. Hold that for about 15 seconds. How's it feel, Phil? I feel a stretch in the back of my leg. Good. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and switch our legs. So left leg out. Remember to keep that knee straight the whole time. And then bend down from your trunk. Only go as far as you can. Same stretch? Switch the stretch to the other side. <laughs> Perfect. Good. Okay, so the next stretch, Phil, go ahead and grab your towel behind you. Kick that right leg out again. Keep the knee straight. And then what I want you to do is loop the towel down around the ball of your foot. You're going to sit up nice and straight. Yep, you can hold it up in the air or prop it down on the ground, however you feel more natural. You're going to pull your toes up towards you using the towel. So you should feel a nice stretch right through the back of your calf. Yes, definitely. Same thing, hold it for 15 seconds. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and switch to the other side. So loop it down around the left foot. Remember to keep that knee straight. Perfect. Now get a nice stretch right through the back of the left calf. Same thing, hold for 15 seconds. Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Really. Perfect. Okay, I'll take your towel for you. you so your last stretch that we're going to do is for your hips, okay? So what I want you to try and do is try and put your right leg or right foot up on your left knee. If you can't get it that far, you can keep it right down here. So I'll show this version, you show that one. What we're going to do is we're just going to give a little press down our knee towards the ground. So you're going to give yourself a little bit of extra hip rotator stretch there. How's that feel? I feel it back here. Good. It's exactly where you're supposed to feel it. Same thing, hold for 15 seconds. Perfect. We'll go ahead and switch. Now give that left leg just a little push there. Perfect. What do you think? Very nice. Feels pretty good. It feels fine. Awesome. Hey, this exercise is to help with stairs and just work out your legs. It would be a great opportunity to get your friends and family involved so you have a spotter for safety. First, we're going to start off with doing side steps. You want to do these um, eight times on each side. So it would be one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Great job. 
And then next, we'll be doing marching. For this, we want to put our hand just for balance because we're going to be lifting our feet. And so you'll want to do eight times for this too. So, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One time. And so for this last one, we're gonna use on one foot and hold for about five seconds. It's really important to be holding on for safety because you could lose your balance. So if you wanna hold on like this, and then on one foot, you'll hold on for five seconds. One, two, like that, three, four, five. And then on the other side, two, and you'll do that eight times. Like I said, these are some great exercises that you can do to strengthen your legs and help with stairs, but some safety precautions you should always keep in mind is when you're using the stairs, use the handrail and you go up with the good foot if you have a good or bad foot and then down with the bad when you're going downstairs. So, As people grow older, many people experience this challenge with balance and managing stairs safely. We have a couple tips and special techniques today that can help increase your safety on steps. The first one is to always try and use handrails. So as you're going up steps, always make sure that you have a hand on the handrail. The second is making sure that your steps are free of clutter, so they don't have a lot of stuff that you could trip over, and making sure that your steps are well lit. Another thing that you can do is use contrast tape like this to help mark the edges of the steps, so that way you don't trip on a step going up. One final thing that I want to recommend for stair management is making sure that you have proper footwear on when maneuvering stairs. Many people slip on stairs and making sure that you have a nice rubber sole shoe will help increase your traction and prevent you from falling. I'm Mary McNamara, social worker at your Cleveland Department of Aging. I wanted to share four key resources with you today around transportation, health care costs, food resources, and exercise options in the city of Cleveland. Sometimes the lack of transportation can present a challenge if you want to attend an arthritis swim class at your local recreation center or go shopping at the West Side Market. At the Cleveland Department of Aging, we can help you learn more about what is available in our community to help with transportation. Things like senior transportation connection, paratransit from RTA, and reduced senior fares on regular RTA routes. Are your prescription costs too high? Are you interested to see if you can lower the cost of your Medicare Part B premium? Are your medical bills too high? Or do you need help finding some of the adaptive equipment shown in the video? Would you like help applying for Medicare or Medicaid? The Department of Aging Access Your Benefits program can help you navigate the sometimes complex application system. Are you interested in finding out about exercise programs at your local City of Cleveland Recreation Center? The City of Cleveland has 21 recreation centers that offer free programming to Cleveland residents. Programs that might interest you include water walking, line dancing, senior aerobics, arthritis aquasize in the pool, and so much more. Do you want to know where your local neighborhood senior center is, or more about home delivered meal programs, or food pantries in your neighborhood? We can help. For a list of all of the resources available to you, visit the city's website or call us at 664-2833. We are here to help.